What's up, crypto fam? Welcome back to another episode. If you guys are new here, we do giveaways at the beginning of every video. It has to do with different types of cryptocurrencies. And last week's winner is actually Turtle773. Congratulations, Turtle. I just sent you some Bitcoin. For this next week's giveaway, feel free to comment below something about the video and the review and leave your Bitcoin wallet address. I'm going to be talking about Chainlink today. Chainlink is effectively applying smart contracts to the offline world and plugging into different APIs that are off chain. Using oracles are a good way of verifying data offline and bringing them on blockchains, but the reality is, is no one has ever done this before. So in my opinion, Chainlink is a kind of hidden gem. So let's dive right into the overview. <laughs> Whenever I do reviews of products, I like to dive into why I'm interested in the project primarily, and also what the key performance factors are, like what I need to see in a project that's really compelling to me. And something that popped onto my radar because I go to TradingView pretty often is Chainlink is considered a strong buy. And what I noticed was that there wasn't much hype around the coin, which is actually their intention. They're trying to do something unique in that they have this massive online presence on Reddit primarily, and their hype is all based on the commits to their GitHub. Basically how cryptocurrency started was the hype was around commits on GitHub because that proved that you had demand and people were interested in innovating on top of your project. And that was who you used to follow. When I was starting in 2013, I was following projects on GitHub, monitoring their commits to verify that the, the project was legitimate and it was worth you know, potentially investing in. And Chainlink has really brought that into this new world where the market is very much flooded with a lot of hype. A lot of people are just doing press and press and press and press and they don't even have a product. But Chainlink has been completely kind of silent other than doing updates here and there. And their biggest one was last December. But now they're really starting to come into the limelight on things like TradingView. Part of the reason that bringing it off chain and different types of APIs onto uh, blockchain networks and plugging that together is such a big deal is because you have different networks like, let's say for example, Swift, the company that sends payments all over the world. They've partnered with Swift and they're creating this new decentralized Oracle for Swift so that they can actually bring their offline network onto a blockchain network and using Chainlink. So this type of bridge is something that allows, let's say low tech companies like Swift to be into the next generation of blockchain powered technology. I think that a lot of the future of blockchain is going to be around educating people on what it is and how to bridge between offline and online networks. So that's why I was really excited in this project, not only because of the trading view notification that I got, but also because after researching it, I saw that Sergey, the founder, this is actually his first blockchain project and they have insane backers, like absolutely mind blowing investors. Uh, so I, I, when I do my diligence and I look around for new projects, I don't necessarily go to GitHub anymore. I used to because that was where all the hype happened. People DM'd me about Chainlink probably a two weeks ago, a couple weeks after I'd heard about it. And I realized that their GitHub was active, like hyperactive compared to 99% of other projects. It is a, a vibrant community of devs working on the decentralized Oracle network. And I think that that's a really brilliant way of marketing to developers. There needs to be this sort of throwback, I'll say, to the original types of marketing of just committing to GitHub and sending people a notification. One of the ways that I wanted to simplify this down for people that aren't really familiar with Oracles being you know, used for verification and stuff like that is that Basically, Chainlink is sitting in the center. If, imagine a diagram, it's sitting right in the center and you have all of these different technologies that are, have APIs and they're off of blockchain entirely. They have nothing to do with blockchain. And what it's doing is it is bringing those people in. It's allowing them to connect to things like the Ethereum network. It's allowing them to connect to things like Hyperledger and bringing those different businesses and different technologies in is something that's going to help the ecosystem as a whole. So I love covering projects that help the ecosystem because all both drives when there's a good project, bring new economies in. 
and having something like almost like an, uh, a nucleus at the center of all of these projects sort of orbiting around Chainlink, it, it, it really explains the name quite well, that it's linking all of these different projects to blockchain. And whether they're offline or they have a, a current API that is you know not being used for blockchain, I'm really, really interested in seeing where this goes, especially because they've already announced that they're partnered with Swift and they're coming out with some new partners because now they're really starting to turn up the volume on the hype machine. Backing into it with the GitHub approach, I think now that that's out and people are really following their GitHub, it's kind of fun to, to see someone doing it differently and uh, doing it like how the projects used to be back in you know 2014, 2015, that was just the way to hype projects up. If you guys are interested in Chainlink, I'm gonna be putting a link to Binance below, which is where I actually Got some uh, a couple months ago. That's it for this quick overview of Chainlink. I hope you guys enjoyed the decentralized Oracle network. And I will see you guys on the next episode and I'll announce the winner next week. And don't forget to slap a like and turn post notifications on. I'll see you guys next time.